real estate, you must come to M.I. Okoro to buy, lease, and to sell on national real estate today. <laughs> Oh yes, don't you ever forget your real estate investment and of course property is the only thing that can never be stolen or lost. Uh, it's of course the only business that continues to rise and rise and rise in value. Welcome to National Real Estate Today. My name is Chidia Bere and uh, I tell you no time at all for any preambles because we have quite a crowded show coming up uh, in the next 25 minutes or so. Uh, powered, of course, by Emayo Kuro and Associates. We are really grateful for him. And uh, straight on into business. Uh, today, like I said, it's quite crowded. Uh, we are kicking off with the estate market segment. And uh, Dr. Emayo Kuro, ESV Dr. Emayo Kuro, uh, he is brandishing two major markets as usual. I talk about the Lakey Trade Center. Uh, that's the newest one over there at the Ibeju Lakey area. That's the one that everybody is scrambling for. And of course, the famous Tejo Show Ultra Modern Shopping Complex. We have engineer uh, Owolabi and uh, of course, representing the landlords of that market. I think you better stay tuned and catch all of that. And of course, try and purchase you one or two or three of those wonderful, wonderful stores uh, that are built to quadruple in no time at all. Uh, that's all coming up on the estate market segment. Now, the property development, that's another one. And uh, you would not believe the young boys that, hmm, they are doing something so encouraging, so fantastic. Uh, talk about reducing 22 million housing deficit in Nigeria. Emayo Kuro is going to help and pilot that and show us all of what is available for very, very, very reasonable prices out there in the Bejuleki area. And uh, yes, you would not believe that at all. Builder's Choice. Today we have a really big wig. You are going to be so shocked uh, to find out. Uh, but I know that three out of four of you out there have heard once at least the name Wish Tech Group. Uh, he's on the show. Can you believe that? And uh, he's going to tell us all of what he stands for. Uh, that's absolutely fantastic. Now, accessories for home. Oh, this is something else. A young lady, I think she has come back from somewhere, some European country, but uh, she's into a lot of different interior designs. She says she can turn your carcass, your house, common house, into a quality home. You will not believe what's about to come your way as we bring you all of these features. Of course, overlooking the lovely, lovely silhouette, sunset silhouette of the Ojodu, uh, Akiode Ojodu Estate right behind me. Now, if you allow anyone to distract you from wherever you are sitting or standing watching this show right now, you would have absolutely nobody to blame but your very own self. We'll be back in just a minute. Peace. Again, I must inform you free of charge that the only law in Nigeria that have empowered any profession at all, which is the Nigerian Institution of Estate Surveillance and Value, to do valuation for any purpose at all, for all manners of assets, apart from land and building, is the Estate Surveillance and Value Registration Board Act of Nigeria. And um, that is the law that have empowered us as Estate Surveillance and Value to undertake valuation. Uh, but in Nigeria, we have a situation where until the damages are done, that's when we start crying for the damages that have been done. Most of the public buildings are under the law required to be valued and insured. If we look at um, the major commercial activities in the States, um, one thing we will see is that uh, wholesale 
market generally are scarce you know um, when you look at electronics you have to go all the way to alaba um e-commerce and uh, computing you have to go to ikeja you know building and real estate you have to go to orile and um, you find out that um, in terms of development and uh, you realize that uh, the lucky equi axis have been where development and movement and migration is tending towards and uh, the market that supports it are far away which makes uh, the landing cost of these materials um, very expensive so if we have a direct source market very close to the locality where people are developing it would um, it would make uh, the cost of delivering uh, most of this infrastructure and buildings make it cheaper and that's what we're looking at so basically we're looking at um, having a wholesale market for electronics and electricals um, e-commerce and computing as well as uh, building and construction markets What we're talking about here is uh, Tejo Show uh, Ultramodern Shopping Center. It's a shopping center built at the heart of um, Yaba, Lagos. So, and it's um, a shopping, shopping center that is currently running for over eight years now. So, the, the business is quite thriving in uh, that shopping center. And the shopping center in all has over 1,600 shops. The, the former Tejo Show market had issues uh, in the past. So, government um, came in and said, uh, they need to put up uh, a new market, a new ultra modern market in that place. So they got a developer and they built the place uh, to a modern uh, standard uh, shopping center. So currently now the place, uh, what we have there now is a shopping center with um, extra modern uh, outlook. My name is Daniel Victor Chukube, the owner of Habar Beauty Change and also Bikuna Communication, Nigeria Limited. You're watching National Real Estate Today. Keep watching. Investment, portfolio, time planning, it's all paying and much more. Do you desire to have wealth? It is on real estate. You must come to MI.co to buy, lease, and to sell on National Real Estate Today. I am always amazed when Nigeria has tried to actually create storm in a teacup, what you are just talking about is specialization. So if people have studied estate management and they have not been opportune or focus on that aspect of our profession in the area of facility management, then such a person cannot claim to be a facility manager. But where some people gather together, and whether they read sociology or they read Yoruba and they now brand themselves as facility manager, it is lovable. All we know is that if there's any profession that has the fundamental, the basic ingredient of training in property management, of facility management anywhere in the world, it is the essence of value. There's no doubt about that. But where a whole lot have deviated from the fundamentals and concentrate on things like property letting, then they cannot claim if they stumble into a job requiring a kind of subscription facility manager to say, because I'm a surveyor. I am a facility manager. Um, making a house a home is putting your own character, your own self, everything about you, your values into the house. Um, you can walk into a house and know the kind of person the, the owner of the house is just by walking into the house. Um, if you walk into a house and um, some furniture will tell you the kind of person he is, um, even the accessories, the soft furnishing will tell you the kind of person he is, and that is what my key is about. It's about um, translating you as a person 
into the house and making it a home that whoever walks in knows, okay, I'm in your house. Apart from the the goods and products we have, we have services also. We do renovations, we do remodeling, um, we take projects from as far as even Kakas. So you can give us a building at Kakas, we do the tiling, we do the POP, we do the fittings, the light fixtures, the sanitary wares, the doors and all of that. So we do services that um, we take project, we like to take project from services anyway, because most times when we take just a finished ha house, to turn it into a home, we end up maybe breaking some things and trying to do a lot of remodeling. But when we take a house from Kakas, it's easier. So we can actually embed your own personality from the root. For instance, let us look into the angle of tenancy. In tenancy, you have some corporate leases to corporate organizations and you have to individual leases. Already some of the corporate organizations, with the nature of what they do, they are already crying aloud that you need to give them a rent relief, you know, in some cases. Some of them are into oil and gas company, and now the price of oil is already down, and this is going to affect, you know, the rent they are paying. And most of them that they are paying their rent in dollars, you know, is going to have a toll on them heavily. Oh yes, those of you who are just walking in, you are watching the program that has just about become the national anthem, really, as far as construction, infrastructure, building, housing, real estate is concerned, a reference point for that matter. We call it National Real Estate Today. Remember, it's powered every week by none other than the famous ESV Dr. M.I. Okoro, and if you paid attention, you will very quickly recognize we are now at the Builder's Choice segment. Uh, by the way, we are inside uh, a, a, the, the, the carcass of uh, some building. I don't want to mention where it is, but this is how the building looks like uh, when it's being constructed. That's why we have come here. You will not believe that at all. It's my privilege, of course, to introduce to you one of the biggest deals as far as the property industry and especially the building material sector is concerned. Have you ever heard of Wish Tech Group? I'm sure you probably heard of Wish Tech Roofing, but did you know that that's not the only thing that they do? Let's meet none other than Dr. Chigozie Wankwo. He's the CEO and Chief Executive of Wish Tech. Wish Tech Roofing, Wish Tech Paints, which take plumbing materials. It's national real estate today. Wish tech, apart from the roof, today we have the best PPR pipes, fusion systems, thermoplastic systems. We have all the best plumbing systems you can ever talk of. I don't know any of, of any plumbing company in Nigeria today that provides the standard and the quality of plumbing that we, you know, provide in us in the market uh, environment. Our our sanitary wares are the best, the best of European standard. Today, we've gone into painting. Today, our paints has not only driven other paints out of the market in Nigeria, but in, in 40 different countries. So today, our, pie, our paint is the only paint in the marketplace that has a silicon base. And to be very to sincere with you, if you look, the, 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 the most interesting area of our paint is that our paint is cheaper than the locally made paint by spread. For example, 20 drums of locally made paint, 20 kg. If you are to use our paint for the same surface, you only need 10 drums because our coverage is double the coverage. So whatever, for example, if you need one million naira to paint your house, with which tech paint, you might get it at 800,000, yet it's the very best quality you can ever think of. So not about 
only quality but also affordable affordability it's most of the churches now prefers our friend because it's affordable and it's outstanding which tech industries limited Africa's leading roofing and construction brand, partnering with the world's leading brands, AHI New Zealand, the inventor of stone-coated roofing, IPS Pipes, German thermoplastic inventor, Betec Paints, the paint market leader in over 40 countries, and many other brands, building superior long-standing homes in Nigeria and West Africa, bringing joy to homeowners and investors. Wichtech, transforming the homes of Africa. My name is Godfrey Aikwonsu. I'm the National Secretary of the Association of Mobile Phone Traders of Nigeria, AMPAT. You are watching National Real Estate Today. In Medjubileke, actually, we have uh, four different sites, but in this particular site, we have a 25 hectares of land, which is 64 acres, right? And right on this site, we are, we are actually planning to deliver a total of 1,000 housing units, comprising of uh, uh, bungalows, uh, duplexes, apartments, and so on and so forth. One, two, three bedroom, you know, bungalows, one, two, three bedroom, apartments, duplexes, and all those stuff. We're delivering it here. Yes, people have also invested in land. You know, people that are invested in land, of course, uh, they want to do, you know, they want to you know, do what they want, right? We also have, apart, apart from that, we also have the, the investment aspect of it. The investment aspect of it, you know, encourages, because this, this is like a vision, you know, to enable people to invest in uh, land, to invest in infrastructure projects, to invest in building projects and home ownership. And that's the kind of thing we're trying to achieve here for people. Like our mission says, our mission says that, our mission says to make ownership and participation in the real estate sector more accessible to Nigerians. So this is like a platform for Nigerians to come and participate. Either they want to invest in, in you know, infrastructure development, they want to invest in land banking, they want to invest in home ownership for themselves, you get, or for their next generation. These are the kind of things that we are trying to achieve. We are trying to express ourselves you know, making Nigerians, you know, become more economically empowered through real estate. Investment portfolio, time planning, surveying, and much more. Do you desire to have the wealth? It is from real estate. You must come to M.I.O.C.O. To buy, lease, and to sell on national real estate today. Urubuskata. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, I'm, I'm specifically addressing corporate organizations, yeah, and the prospective um, tenants that uh, would like to um, like this kind of location and this like kind of tower. Um, Surveyors Towers is um, about eight floors of um, office complex belonging to Nigerian Institution of Surveyors. When I'm talking about survey, I'm talking about the land surveyors. And PC1 uh, address is this building is the first, one of the first high rise buildings on this close. Oh, Victoria Island. And the building was actually renovated newly by Nigerian Institution of Surveyors through MIO and Associates. Today, we are putting up the property to let or for lease by corporate organizations. By the way, each floor, each wing, I mean, each floor has about 750 square meters. On the whole, about seven floors, we have close to 6,000 square meters. And we have all the services. We have the uh, 500 kVA two numbers. That's about 1,000. We have about four numbers, brand new lift. We have uh, uh, water treatment plant and we have all facilities including the security you can see how clean the compound is so um, this the, the floors are designed like open floor as you can see on the screen open floor and we are expecting that um, it's either a corporate body takes all of them or we can give it in floors to about seven or more uh, corporate tenants 
you know, to be able to um, let go uh, this investment. Like I said, it's a, it's a product of the effort of Nigerian Institution of Surveyors. And the MIO Koro uh, was a sole agent, really, uh, because we renovated the, my co our company renovated the building and all the facilities and be man um, you know, be letting it for them. Unfortunately, it has not been laid. But today, that's why we are bringing it to national real estate today, so that the world can bear us witness that this property, this edifice, this uh, first class office complex on the land on Victoria Island, you know, is out to late or for lease. And we are here to assist the Nigerian Institution of Surveyors to let it to whoever that wants to use it for office only. Or if they want to put it for any other use other than residential, we will discuss. Authoritative information on real estate, housing, property market, and building materials. Quality advice to governments, corporate organizations, professional bodies, and practitioners of real estate. One-stop medium for all our housing needs. Investment portfolio, camp planning, surveying, and much more. Do you desire to have the wealth? It is from real estate. You must come to MIO Coro to buy, lease, and to sell on national real estate today. National Real Estate Today. Every man deserves a house of his own. When important people have important things to say, they do it through an important program and an important medium like National Real Estate Today. Now, my guess is that you have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed yourself and uh, of course, uh, not to talk of the loads of the information and tidbits you have gotten, you have learned one thing or two new about the property industry. We had to go, but we gotta go. And uh, I hope you're gonna join us same time, same station next week for yet another interesting package of National Real Estate Today. Don't forget we have a repeat episode of this show uh, on Wednesday afternoons. I think it's about, on, about 2 30 p.m. every Wednesday. Those of you who would like to watch it again, or if you didn't catch it, tell your brother so he can join us. I know you would not believe it at all. Uh, I feel like going on and on and on with this program. Dr. M.I. Okoro, uh, you can't beat the rich. That's all I can say. If you have a property you want to buy, lease or sell, you know exactly what to do. Uh, you can come, of course, to M.I. Okoro. Uh, of course, also, you can call the numbers right now on your screen. So we can do what? We can add value to it. Join us next week uh, for another interesting package. And until then, on behalf of the hard-working crew of this production team, my name is Chidi Abere saying, may God bless you abundantly. See you next week.